Just kidding. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. So in this video I want to show you how I draw from a reference using my phone. I received this comment on my previous video, so I thought I'd show you how. And of course I don't want to say this is the only way or right way. This is just the way I do it when I draw from my phone. I found this photo on Pinterest and I'm going to use this as a reference. I turn the screen so I can see more of the photo when I zoom in. I zoom in until I have the exact size that I want to draw. If you want your drawing to be bigger, it would be easier to use a tablet with a bigger screen. Now I use my pencil to measure the size of the eye. You will keep on looking back at your reference to see the distance between the lines. Whenever you need, you can measure with your pencil or you can freehand the sketch lines. If you want to be more accurate, you can use a ruler. For this drawing, I don't need it to be exactly the same, so I measure a bit and freehand the rest. You can measure as much as you want to be sure. Take your time and practice this as much as you can. When I sketch, I like to use a mechanical pencil, because you don't have to sharpen it. This is an HB. Make sure you use a light pencil with light pressure when you sketch. I always draw from reference photos and if there is something I don't like or maybe an area is a bit dark where you can't see the details that well then you can improvise or change things to the way you like. I like the eye but I didn't like how thick the eyebrow was so I just drew a thinner one. You are the artist so you have the freedom to do what you want or change what you want. You are just using the photo as a reference for the right measurements, but you don't have to copy everything exactly how it is. If you are drawing a full portrait and not just the eye, then you can continue measuring and moving your reference photo on the screen. That's why it will be easier with a bigger screen, but if you only have your phone to draw from, it is possible too. So you would just keep on measuring and imagine horizontal or vertical lines. Like here you see the side of the nose is just under the corner of the eye. So if you measure the distance, you can draw that line too. You can go on from there for the rest of the nose, 
and when you have the sketch of the nose you can go on to the lips and so on measure how much you like and need and remember the more you practice this the easier it will get I'm only going to draw the eye so now let's start shading this is my favorite part for the shading I will use my Faber-Castell graphite pencils the 4B, 6B and 8B and for the darkest parts a black colored pencil I always have a material list with all of the materials I use under the videos so check it out if you want to know the exact brand of anything I use when I shade I start with the lightest pencil and build up the layers gradually every layer I use light pressure because then you can erase easily when you need to Pay attention to your reference photo and keep on adding layers to darken. I have different tutorials on my YouTube channel already, so if you want to see how I draw an eye with more detail or how I shade skin, you can click on my playlist tutorials. And if you would like to see me draw this in real time or other exclusive tutorials and real time videos, you can head over to my Patreon. The link is under the video. This is a marker with white acrylic paint and I use this for the brightest highlights. I wait for it to dry a bit and then I gently go over it where it's too bright. Just adding some final touches and I think I'm going to leave it like this. 
I would love to hear your thoughts or if you have any questions, leave a comment under the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.